Hi, Blue Water family. Kareen asked me to send you a small message of encouragement during these times. Um, and they are weird times. It's scary. Um, we're not sure what's going to happen. We don't sure. We aren't sure when it's going to happen. Um, employment rates are plummeting. Jobs are plummeting. Um, people are getting sick. Um, and there's no real answers. And I don't know about you, but I'm kind of wondering what, like, what aren't they telling us at this point? Um, we're getting frustrated because we see people not doing what they're supposed to do. Um, not quarantining, going out more than they should, or maybe they're going out at all and you feel more comfortable staying home all the time, um, even though they say walks and stuff are okay as long as we social distance. How do we reconcile that with each other? Like, how do we reconcile that maybe um, I want to stay home? Well, like, I should stay home permanently, but my next door neighbor thinks it's okay to go out for walks. How do I still love and care for those people, even though I could be angry at them inside? Um, you know, you're trapped inside with your family, and eventually something's got to give. I know this weekend, um, Nathan and I both uh, had little mini meltdowns and we had to take a day just away from social media and screens and stuff to kind of reset. Um, Facebook alone is enough to make anybody crazy. All the unsolicited advice, the, the scorn, the judging, like it's just never ending. Um, you know, and then you have little kids at home who they miss their March break. They can't see their friends. Um, you know, we try and play games and hang out with them as much as possible, but it's not the same. And, you know, they're, they're little. They don't know. Um, and that's really hard, too. We, we know, or maybe you live by yourself, whether you're a senior or just a young person, and, like, you don't get to see anybody. And that can be so lonely and, um, and scary, too. We can't be with our loved ones right now. We can't support each other close by. Um... You know, and then what some of us probably feel like we're not getting what we deserve. Well, you know, my friends should be doing this for me or my kids should be doing this for me or my parents should be doing this for me. You know, how do you deal with that? Um, how do we reconcile all of that? And I think uh, the way I've been dealing with it is the same way I deal with pretty much anything I don't want to deal with. And I just uh, pray for wisdom and grace. Lots of wisdom, lots of grace, um, because that's all we can really ask for uh, when dealing with people that are frustrating us or when we're scared or we don't know what to do, um, wisdom and grace. And I have yet to have a time when wisdom and grace, and I have yet to have a time when God hasn't pulled through for me. So if you don't know what to pray, just pray wisdom and grace. Works every time. Uh, I also suggest... Uh, if you feel comfortable doing so, going for a walk. The nature out there uh, is, it charges my batteries every time. Uh, I generally want to sit on the couch and Netflix, but nature is there for a reason and it makes us feel so much better, even for just five minutes around the block. And don't forget to love each other. Uh, Jesus didn't say to love each other only when we're not annoying. So keep loving each other, pray for wisdom and grace, and we'll get through this together. Bye, guys.